Hey everyone, good morning. How's everyone doing today on this quite, hmm, I'd say fresh. It's fresh. The sun's out, but it's a little bit cool. Hey, Chris and Pixie. Hey, Carol. How are you all? How are you feeling, Pixie? How are you feeling? Either I've got the time wrong or something's not right. I'm not sure. Not sure what's going on. Oh, thanks, Chris. Thank you. Not feeling it, but thank you. Um, what's everyone doing? What's everyone up to? Have I got the time wrong or am I doing the right, is it not the normal right time? Your good picks are good. Good to know, good to know. Hey, Amber, Erica. Good morning, good evening to everyone. Oh, I keep putting the ducted heating up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So, anywho, anywho, Helen, hello. I've got something in my eye. Uh, oh, my goodness. Craft and Judy, hello. We were saying that there seems to be not many around. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I don't know, not to say that it's just the people in the US or whatever, but I think um, it's a long weekend over there this weekend. People might be going out. Hey, Wenda and Natalie. Hi, baby. Um, but, yeah, not many peeps around, which is fine. You know, everyone's got a life outside of YouTube. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, like, I try to have. <laughs> I try to have. Don't forget Mindy's still alive. Yeah, I don't know. I, I Is she still still going? Is my time out or not? Because normally I go live at this time every weekend, so I don't know if she's going over or if I'm going earlier, and I'm worried about that. I normally do go live at this time because I checked at 10.30, unless times have changed around the world again and I didn't know about it. Hey, Robert, it's nice to see you. I haven't seen you around in a long time, chickpea. Um, Deborah, hello. She's working and lurking today. You're on the same time. You aren't wrong in your time. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that's fine. You know, everyone, this, yeah. Mindy's live, go check her out if you want to go hang out with Mindy. Oh, that's okay. And and everything else. So oh thanks, Natalie. How am I feeling? I oh hi, I love you too, Abigail's. What's with the face, Jenny? <laughs> hey Rose. Um hello Cheryl. Um, um, um what was I gonna answer? How am I feeling? Oh, how am I feeling? I've still got a bit of a yucky, yucky, chesty, chesty thing happening. <clears throat> so I'm not happy about that. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um, Arthur and Chris, it's 1.39 a.m. He says, Helen. Helen, you're in the UK, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, Irene from South Africa. Hey, everything big, every, everything. Oh, this girl can't even be typing. Are you at work today, Abby? Um, have you watched Top Gun with your youngest son? I've, no, not with my youngest. I've watched it only with my eldest. Um, only with my eldest. So uh, the offspring are due to come tomorrow or the next day. So hopefully we'll factor that in this week. Headed to bed, work, work super early, but I love you. Oh, but I love you. Hello, Sherry. Hello, hello. Um, Janet says hello to everyone in chat. All right. So what a week it's been. I am excited because I am finally going to do an unboxing today. Yes, yes. I'm getting my life together. I am pumped. So I'll be doing an unboxing straight after live and hopefully that'll go up. I might even, might even, gosh forbid, get two in. Might even get two in. Hello, Rose. Hello, Rose. So 
Mm. Coffee. I'm going to catch up on a few things. A uh, few of you were <laughs> around when I did a pop-up live. Mm. I want to say it was the coffee machine. Um, on Thursday, I had to teach myself a very big lesson. Ergo, the title of my my uh, live today. Yay, an unboxing. I know, Carol. I know. I feel like I've got rusty fingers and mine. I'm going to have so many brain farts during that unboxing because it's been a long time. But I'm excited. I've picked out which ones I'm going to be doing. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Coffee, yes. I made a coffee and I'm almost finished it. So mm. you watch the replay, says Natalie. Yes. <laughs> Robert sending you some coffee, Jenny. He likes it when you do your coffee. What is it? Coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even try and pretend to do it like Jenny, but I know she'll appreciate it. There it is. There it is. Hello, 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 Christopher. I sound better. Thanks, Cheryl. I am feeling better, but at night the, the chesty thing, the coffee thing, the coughing is still a, an issue. Um, so it's just kind of lingering, which is me up. It's upsetting me like this no tomorrow. So, all right. My norm, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. My normal morning travels. I get up in the morning. I drive to the train station, park the car, get one train in to the city and then another train out to the office. Okay. And then I am lucky enough that I have a work wife. Uh, who has popped in before and said hello. Hello, Rose. Um, thank you, Nightwalker. Um, hello, beautiful, just doing housewife. You're doing housewife. Well, good for you, Rose. She's, Rose is doing a housewife. <laughs> she, wow, that's going to be an interesting conversation, calling you out on that one. <laughs> I'm glad you're safe from Thursday night. Yes. So that's my – and then I'm lucky enough to get a trip home Back to the first station where I park my car with my work wife and because she lives very close to me. So this is what's happened. No, no, you're not getting out of it. No, no, you're doing a housewife. I got you, Rose. I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, <laughs> um, she is. She is, um, Chris. <laughs> I know, Jenny. I know. See, Rose, too late, too late. Hello, Stacey. Okay, so Thursday night, I get to the end of the day and we get to the station around 10 to 7 at night. I walk to my car and my car is one of those ones where you just got to put your hand on the handle and when it senses your car keys close by, it opens, right? So it's got... Like I don't have to, I don't have to click the button. I don't have to put the key in the hole. I just got to put my hand on the handle and it opens the door. Gracie puts said hand on said handle. Said handle refuses to open. Grace opens said backpack where she puts her keys and finds that said keys are nowhere to be found. Uh huh. So. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what does Gracie have to do? <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. My work wife was still in the car park because she drove back because I left my coffee cup in her car. And she goes, Grace, your cup. And I was like, oh, yeah, thank you. And she goes, what's wrong? And I said, hey, you'll never guess what's happened. I've left my keys back at the office. Yay for me. No. So, Gracie. No, no, I haven't told you. I haven't told you. That was the normal route. But last week, all right, so you remember, it's car to train, park the car, get on the train, right, to go to the, first, to, to the city to get the second train. All last week, that all changed because they're doing works. So, follow me through. Follow me through, guys. Follow me through. So Gracie gets up in the morning all last week. She has to get up. She drives a further, I don't know, six or seven train stops further in. 
parks the car because they're doing works on rail crossings and there's buses that are replacing the trains. Hmm. So I have to drive to another station, park the car, get on the bus, go to the city, get off the bus, get on a train, get on the train and go back out to the office. Right? That's my morning route. Right? So forward again to Thursday night when I've lost my keys and I thought, holy, this is the second time, Gracie, you have left your keys at the office. Time for you for this one to sting and teach yourself a lesson. Yeah, because my work wife was sitting there screaming blue murder for me to get back in the car so that she would drive me back all the way back into the city. Love her to parts and pieces. Love her to parts and pieces. I was not going to do that. Okay, I said, you go home. You've got five kitty wings at home. You've got life to live. I'm a big girl. I can do this, yeah? So I get back on the bus, go all the way back into the city, get off the bus, get on the train, get on the train, out to the office, get my keys, get back on the train, back to the train stop, get off the train, onto the bus, bus to train station, and back to my car. Are you following all of this? I thought, I have to, and mind you, mind you, in all of that, I'm going, you need to, A, cut a separate key for your house, and B, start finding a way to get the second car thing put somewhere else. In all of that, whilst I was waiting for the bus in the city to come back home, I decided to do a pop-up live, and some of you came in and kept me company whilst I was in the city waiting for the bus, on the bus ride home and all of that good stuff. And then my work wife was calling and I think the live cut out and I wasn't going to go back on or anything like that. But my work wife was calling to make sure that I was A-OK and safe and all of that. I got home. I got up at five in the morning. I got home at quarter to 10 at night or half past nine, quarter to 10 at night. I was exhaustimicated, exhaustimicated. I'm not even joking how tired I was. I was done, done, cooked for the night, cooked. Um, Natalie says there's so much road works and train works, traffic everywhere. I know, right? Meanwhile, Abigail is flashing us while Grace is on. <laughs> <coughs> yes, I was um, blessed, fortunate, lucky, whatever the word you want to know. But whilst I'm in a public, you know, bus, I think, I, where, where, where was I? Was I on the bus? Yes, I was on the bus or on the train. Abigail decides in our video chat to, whoosh. yes. So you can imagine I'm on, you know, I've got the phone up here so that, you know, and like people can, behind me can see my screen. And I'm there, da 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 talking, ba 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 and all of a sudden I see these breasticles in front of me on the phone. Mm -hmm. I hate to think what people must be thinking that I'm watching someone's probably, what is it, only fan, one fan, whatever that fan, fan video thing people have, they're probably thinking, here's this chick on the train first thing in the morning watching pornography with this, um, you know, sexy bird just go whoosh, and breasticles flying everywhere. Yes. Hello, Susie. Susie Q. Oh, my God, that sounds awful, but I enjoyed the live. This probably didn't help your chest. No, I reckon, you know, I was probably maybe kind of sort of on the way to recovery, and that just kind of really set me back. Shani, hello, hello. What are those emojis, Christopher? I'm trying to determine, decipher. Are they rings? Are they pineapples? I don't know. And that man was very nice to look after your car. You remembered. Yes, Rose, I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. So when I got there, one of the guys that was there overseeing the car park because of all the roadworks that were going on, oh, no, not the roadworks, he was overseeing the bus routes and making sure that, you know, they were going everywhere. And he saw that I was having to head back into the city to go pick up my keys. <laughs> the dude comes up to me and he goes, oh, no, he goes, that's a real shit. He goes, Tell you what, he goes, I'll keep an eye on your car for you. Make sure that nothing happens to it. And that kind of got me going, oh, what's going to happen to it? He goes, yeah, we've had a few broken, smashed windows, this, this, and this. Oh, that's all I need. 
when I got back to the car, it was probably an hour and a half or so round trip. I don't know, you do the math. I got there around seven and I, yeah, a couple, good couple of hours. He was still there and he saw me walking towards the car and he goes, oh, you made it. And I'm thinking, well, thank God I did. He goes, yeah, kept an eye on it for your love. It's all good. And I said, I was so grateful, so, so grateful. Oh, they're melons, grenade, grenade. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Rose. Well, she 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 got herself a good set of. Uh, Abigail wouldn't mind. Doesn't mind. We 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 talk about her breasticles. The three of us wives. I mean, we're wives. We're allowed to discuss these things. True, true. I'm allowed to admire someone's breasticles. Um, these are pineapple. Oh, they're pineapple. Oh, okay, melons, pineapple. <laughs> Me. We're not going to talk about mine today. They're still attached. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> all right. So, I uh, what else has happened? I tried to do my hair again. It's hashtag failing because all it's doing is I'm trying to get it to this red color. This camera's back up front. I'm trying to get it to this red, Gracie, to this red color, but I've got way too much black in the ends and I haven't got the coin to go and get it professionally done at a salon to strip the black out of the back end, <laughs> the bottom ends. Shut up. You know what I'm saying, right? So clearly the red is only taking with the virgin hair at the top. Look at my baldness. Oh, my gosh. Um, so I know Rose was kind enough to send me a product that I could do it at home. But knowing me, I'll probably put it in and strip not only the colour from my hair, but the hair from my head. So I'm kind of a little bit scared. I'll give it a whirl. Maybe not today. Maybe not today. Oh, my gosh. You need to hook up with Rose. Rose has already got a housewife, apparently. So, you know, we'll be discussing that in further detail at a time yet to be determined. Let's go with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Let me just have some coffee. Mm. So, Christopher, knock yourself out with all the comments. You're going to have your evil cackling laugh. I heard you. I saw you in, um, I saw you say that when thread people fail, he has an evil cackle laugh. Yes. And your Gracie girl <clears throat> has not gone too well on her blanket. Um, I started diamond, actually, because we are a diamond painting channel here, I did do a little, little bit of diamond painting yesterday, not too, too much. Um, I have actually not done any diamond painting all week, not for anything other than because I've been chesty and, and bleh, you know, whatever, I've just really wanted to sit on the couch after work and smash out about an hour or so of uh, this blanket because I was really excited that I was going to nail it, that I was going to, like, you know, yes, I'm going to do it properly this time, yeah? So let me put the amber her tears on. So... <laughs> <laughs> I was on video with Jenny. Now it's my turn to call this woman out. I was on video with Jenny and she said, Grace, put it down so I can see what it looks like. You know, give me the full bird's eye view. <clears throat> um, yeah, Grace is going to divorce me. <laughs> I'm going to take you for 50 million defamation, Jenny. Let's go. Let's go. Let's have our own court case. Um, so I put it on the floor and I put the camera up and at the same time that I'm putting the camera up and I'm gawking at it through and I realised that, remember Gracie's pizza slice that she was making when I showed you with the offspring and offspring daughter-in-law last week, you know, the pizza slice that was happening that offspring number two called it? Yeah, I was kind of making a bigger version of the same thing. So instead of it having been, uh, this is, she she got this, see, remember this pizza slice? It was heading up, right? A nice ambitant. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks, Jenny, for the super chat. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we've got $9.99. I'm heading towards a $50 million claim. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so this is, she got that far in defrogging. I said, blow it, just leave it. I'll, I'll, I'll toss it. Yeah, like, like I'm not even going to bother trying to resurrect it. So I started it again. All right. Now, I'll show you the bottom end. This is how big I had initially started it. That's how big I initially started. I decided let's let's go for broke and let's make it like way bigger. Yeah. So look at this. Like like look at this. Okay. So I will pledge that amount. So comparison. This is what I started as far as width. This is. Let's let's do it this way. Right. See like that and like I added all of that because I thought, oh, well, I'm starting it again. Let's just make it wider and bigger and better and let's just go for broke, yeah? I got this. I got this. Jenny was talking to me about some stitch counter thing. Where the blazes is it? Hold that thought. Let me go. Get it. Oh, I knew I should have gotten it ready. You still there? Ah, good. You're still there. All right. So. All righty, I don't be doing no pin thing. I found this little gizmo, right? So apparently it, it's got like a little, you know, like little belt thingy me jiggy. And the idea is that you put it there and that you you click. You, listen, listen, where's the speaker? Like you click the amount of stitches, right? Problem being is I was stitch, 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 like sit. Oh, did I do it that time or didn't I do it that time? And it was just way too confuzzling for me. Seven bucks down the drain. No, no, no bueno, no bueno. All right, let's get to the point of the story. Let's push you back because you're going to need to see this. <sighs> Only your gracie girl gets herself into these, into these, into these things. Attempt one. Let's have a look. You're not going to get to see it, but, well, you, you will get an idea. Attempt two. Can you see what's happened? Can you see what's happened? Can you... <laughs> that would confuse you even more. I, you know what? I didn't even finish the first row and I was confused, Christopher, and I yeeted it across the room and I was like, no, nah, I'm done. I'm done with you. Forget it. All right, frog down to where, no, I can't, no, Stacey, no, because, you know, obviously I thought that might have been a good idea and then it started catching like it did with, isn't this like just a sad piece of roadkill right now? Um, it started going all over the place. So this is <laughs> <coughs> I am calling this, I am calling this the Gracie design. I'm happy to PDF it to you and let you know how to have your very own Gracie design of this blanket that I am making here. It is a it is a one of a kind, authentic, am I selling it to you? Authentic design that you will not find in any stores, ladies and gentlemen. Nowhere to be found. Anyone need an auctioneer for their d -stash? Let me know. I can sell it to you. You ready? So we started like this and Jenny saw to, and like, that's like, it keeps going. Like I've done a lot, right? And then I got to, hang on, uh, about there, right? I said on Mindy's Live, which was just before mine, that, it's now got what is seemingly looking like built-in sleeves. Shit, hang on. This this thread's going to come out. Hang on. So I decided how am I going to rectify this? I'll just kind of start adding one or two stitches at the end to try and make it widen out a bit. I don't know. 
So this is now what we're looking like. You ready? You ready? It's now got, look, it's going out. On either side. And it looks really bad. Look. Mindy, I wasn't joking when I said I had my own armpits in my blanket. That was the solution that I came up with. <laughs> I can't turn back. I have to see it through. I have to know. Nope, no saving. <laughs> Seems crazy. It wasn't that bad the other night. It was. It was so bad. <laughs> I tie it around your neck and make a punch. I'm going to tie it around my neck and do something with it. <laughs> it's got ears. It's got look. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm happy <laughs> to share this design. I will patent it, copyright it, and should you wish to have your very own <laughs> stitch along with Grace, if that's what they call it, I have no bloody idea, with her blanket, um, you're most welcome to join me. It has wings. It's got something, Jeanette. If I didn't say hello, hello, Jeanette. The solution is to take it back. Pass the armpits thing and get it going in. Do not add extra stitches. I've already added them. I'm not taking it back. I can't. I just can't. I'm not. It's not going to happen, Chris. No. So I'm going to kind of, what I might do, I'll do like, you know, a whole big section at this width. And then I might duplicate it and bring it back in at the other end. Oh, there's a thought. And then it won't look so stupid. It won't look like thin and then just out. It'll go thin, out, and then thin again. Oh, my God, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. How does that sound? Hello, CC Angel. Oh, i got to rattle on. <laughs> What do you think? What do you think? I think that is, I think that's my answer. So the idea is that I'm going to match the width of this blue to the first, this, this here. And then I'm going to do two, two widths of this on top. Yeah. I'm, I'm just making up the pattern as I go, to be fair, to be fair. Uh, but I, I, yeah. So. This is the thing, and this is where I need your, you, you, you guys' help. Offspring number two is going to slaughter me when he sees this, and I'm pretty sure, to be sure, he's not watching today, which is good, and he doesn't watch the replays. And I'm going to say this before he does happen to wake up and come on live. Um, I'm going to tell him that that's the pattern and that was intentional, and that's how we're doing it. So you all have got to keep my, you know, my, 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 you got to have my back. But that's what we're doing. And I'm loving, I'm loving it. Remember Grace, that Gracie Waves pattern? <laughs> the gra yes, that's right. That's what I was going to call it. Now I'm starting to get hot. Woo! Um, <laughs> now I want to yeah, yeah. Now I want to finish this short and start a blanket. <laughs> You're going to totally ruin it. I am a knitter crocheter and it's not going to look right, Grace. I think you should send it to me and I will fix it for you and ship it back to you. No, the whole idea is that I do it, Chris. Thank you. Love you to parts and pieces. You know that I do. I know I need to achieve this. And gosh forbid, I was thinking when I started this, it would be nice to give this to a friend. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm not giving this to anyone. But there's no but. The word to use is however. I'm spitting. Um. I just need to see it through now. Oh, shit. Hey, Gabster. Gabster's here. Okay, I'm telling him. Oh, uh, Abigail, how are you here, Gabster? Hey, you didn't see anything. There's nothing to see here. Go back to sleep. I can't even tell him off because he's at his dad's. Go back to sleep. Go to sleep. Um, Have it for charity auction, Gracie. Oh, yeah, I'll get like two bucks 
you would rather give this friend and I'll already gift it to you. <laughs> it's not a pet. No, no, Gabriel. No, 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 no. It's your mama did an intentional thing here. We're good. We're good. Gabstar, that's my blanket I'm making. It's not your mum's. You're dreaming. <laughs> this isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. I crochet. It's relaxing when the stitches go right. What happens when they go wrong, Connie? <laughs> oh no. Um, I would pay you three. <laughs> Jenny, all oh, the shorts. Thank you so much. Keep them coming, please. Good night for real. I'm going to sleep. Night, 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 Abigail. Sweet dreams, darling. Uh, hello, Mary Lou. <laughs> Send it to me. I will help. I'm not sending it to you, Chris. Stop asking. I'm not sending it to you. I am going to see this through. It is going to be a work of art. <laughs> it's going to be unique. It's going to be all the things, you know. I mean, what what's Gracie's Diamond World without raw, organic, and with all the mistakes that come with it, right? I mean... Here's my channel's probably one of those channels that's like a, here's a not a what not to do. Uh, this printer is making me want to pull my hair out. Oh, okie dokie. I'm surprised that you're up so early, Gabstar. I'm very impressed. I take it that you're home safe. Thanks. Thanks for letting your mama know that you got home. But let me let me admonish my offspring on YouTube publicly in front of everyone. Thanks for letting your mama know that you guys got home last night safely. You forgot that little one? <sighs> She's going to drape it over a bed so no one will know. It's a, what's a Franken blanket? A Franken blanket. I did? Where did you? Oh, capital letters. He'd be screaming at me now. Let me just check my notifications. Let me just see. I see no notifications, mister. None. Not one. Not a text message. Not a messenger message, no fire signal, no letter in my letterbox, nothing. Um, I don't know. I'm going to drape it over my bed and that's why I'm kind of not kind of fast about the shaking of I message you, bro, this is bull. Stop screaming. Calm down. Calm down, child. Calm down. You didn't message. I'm telling you. Why would I lie? You didn't, I, well, I never received it, put it that way. Um, like Frankenstein parts and piece together. Oh, is that a real thing or did we just make it, or did you just make it up, Jenny? It's a Franken blanket. Not a text, not a phone call, not, not, no email, no nothing. I got nothing. I can only surmise that no news is good news and that you all arrived safely. So, oh. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you arrived safely home and there was no, nothing that's gone wrong. <coughs> um, so we have a long weekend coming up in a few weeks and I believe it's a long weekend, but it looks good when it's folded. Like, look at that. Look at all that work. Look at all that work. You know, <sighs> Um, no proof, Gracie, unless they send you a screenshot of a text. <laughs> there you go. Gaps, do you have the right number? <laughs> Can you imagine? Oop, I didn't message. <gasps> I just got myself a public apology. You didn't message. Okay. At least I brought you up the right way. You own your shit, son. And for that, I'm proud, proud. Well done. Apology, unconditionally accepted. Don't let it happen again. Um, yes. So uh, what was I saying? What if it went to the wrong place? Oh, I don't know. I don't. I still don't. She wants me to use these stitch markers and I just don't get it. She's going to, I feel like she's going to put her hand through the camera and belt me over the head with that. Like, okay, so I get to the 10. Like you say, put it every 10. So does that mean that when I do the next row, I should, 
I mean, like, how am I going to know if I skip one? Like, do I got to count every single time that I go in batches of 10? I need to watch a YouTube video on how to do it properly. Yeah. I'll go get the stitch markers. I'll go. Oh, I'll use stitch markers. I promise. <sighs> what are you doing? What are you doing this with us? Yeah, I'm doing it without. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, my gosh. They're all coming at me. Cheryl's coming at me. All right. I must. You must. I must. I must. I must increase my bust. Did anyone ever used to do that? <laughs> um, so tonight on, at 5 o'clock, what's the time? 11. Gee, oh, the, the day's just going like that. Um, I have got my auntie's birthday, um, what do you call it? Dinner, whatever, like a celebration. So I'll be going to that today. <clears throat> Hopefully if I don't feel any worse. And that's about it. That's all she wrote. That's that's pretty much the long and short of my week. The, the most exciting thing was me having to go back into the office. And why do you ring me? Why does this person love you to parts and pieces, sweetheart, but I can't talk to you right now? And I'm not answering. Mm, yum. Um, it's okay if it's a small pot holder, but for a ginormous blanket, yes, yeah, stitch markers are a must or it's going to weave in and out like that. It's an intentional thing. I'm going with intentional, intentional, Miss Jenny. You were talking about the long weekend. Thank you, Susie Q. Yes, we've got our long weekend. My Melbournians in the house, Natalie. Rose, I think it's the 12th, the Queen's birthday long weekend. That's coming up. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have no idea. I had a, um, actually had a message from my friend Nick that was on live with me a few weeks ago and he will be available anytime after the weekend of the 6th. So hopefully he'll come out and do another live with me, which would be cool. Gracie. You will get there one day. You should ask someone for help, but Gracie, you will get there one day. You should ask someone for help, but do it yourself. Yeah, you're going to get Peyton Gracie waves. Don't forget. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I didn't know about this. Is that next week? No, I worked it out, Gapstar. It, um, you're with your dad the long weekend. It's the weekend of the 12th. So I'm pretty sure I worked it out that way. Thanks, Rose. So you'll be here for this coming weekend, which is the 5th, uh, and then at your dad's for the long weekend, which is the weekend of the 11th, 12th. Yeah. I'm just organising my life <laughs> with everyone here. Hey, you're all part of my diamond painting family. You all know Gabster. You all know that he's a week here. Him and his brother are a week here and a week at his dad's. Hey, we're family. Let's just discuss, shall we? Um, hey, Joanna. Hey, Grace. How are you? What did you do to your hair, Dove? Yeah, I colored it, home colored it, and it's gone red at the roots and still black at the ends. Uh, I do have, I don't have a candle nearby, and it's not my news to share, but I did have someone message me uh, regarding they having lost a loved one. And if you are watching and lurking and working in the background, know that I am sending you much, much love, um, much love. Uh, I won't be giving too much away by saying that this person lost their dad only last week. And um, I just want to say that I love you and my thoughts are with you and I know that loss and I'm here if you need to talk. And thank you for sharing and letting me know that he had passed. And that's about, yeah, you know, you know, I got you. You know, I got you and love you. Um, is it just Melbourne? All states, Gracie. 
I don't know. I think it is just Melbourne because I think Labor Day, it's the Labor Day long weekend. Is it Labor Day? No, it's the Queen's birthday. What am I saying? It's the Queen's birthday. I'm assuming, I don't know. I don't know if the Queen's birthday is celebrated differently. Imagine this 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 bitch. She's got how many birthday holidays in her honour? Um, I know it's that weekend for us here. Just sent a pic, pic of the Frankenstein setup. Ah, all states says Rose Wills. Prayers. Thanks for the prayers for this friend of mine, this subscriber, and also she's also a creator. Um, we lost 19 children, two teachers. There's not enough candles in Texas this week. I know, Joanna. I know. I know. Um, prayers for the... Uh, the thought of kissing your little one, no matter how little they are, whether they're little, you know, third, fourth, fifth graders, or whether they're my kids' age, the thought of kissing, you know, and saying, you know, goodbye, have a nice day in the morning, to have that be the last thing that you do without any thought that, that, you know, something is absolutely horrific and tragic and there are no words. There are no words. There are no words that aptly describe what sort of emotions the friends, the family, the families of those children would be going through right now. I, there's no words. I, a loss is a loss. Um, I can't, and the thing is, and a lot of us always say, I can't even imagine what it would feel like, and the, and the issue, the issue, the, the facts are that the the people that are actually going through it, they're not having to imagine it, they're actually living it, and I just, it just puts me in a place that I just, my mind just goes into all sorts of places that that it's incomprehensible incomprehensible um let's see this photo the current frankenstein setup oh my gosh gapster is this something for me to share with the people out there or is this for my eyes only because obviously i'm not going to share it if it's not something that you want shared but i'm happy to do so uh i'm not going to uh cheryl i'm actually not going to get into the debate of that on the channel because it's a hot topic and everyone's got their own views and i'm not going to use i'm not going to have and I say it respectfully, I'm not going to have a shit show of an argument on the channel regarding that one. Um, I've got a place on the beach, peaceful. Is there beach in Texas? I thought, I thought Texas was landlocked. Am I wrong? My mum and I, yeah, they never really recovered from my dad's death. Yeah, it's 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 hard. It's hard. It's hard. Um, Gapstar, are you listening? Oh, I can share. He's, he, you could have read. I'm, I'm watching you there, mister. All right. So I don't even know how many you've got there. Is that two? He's got two. Um, fair enough, Cheryl. Fair enough. He's got two DP printers. And this is what he calls his Frankenstein Franken, Frankenstein setup. Can you see that? Ah, oh. is it going to focus? Focus. I don't know if you can see that or not. Pretty proud of him. He's got all these bits and bobs and tools up there that I wouldn't have a clue what they are. Not a clue what they are. Um, let me just send this message to this person who rang. Okay. 
There you go. Jenny says it's fancy schmancy in Gabstar. Yeah. Delaware on the east coast of USA. Why did I think you were in Texas? I didn't know that. Um, I wonder if I should send this person a link and let them know. I just got a message from Nick because he said, not until after the accreditation sit on the 6th. And I said, no worries, hun. And he said, definitely after that, we got ourselves a date. Me, Nick, and you guys, would you like that? Would you like that? Good night, Dawn. Thank you so much for popping in. Thank you. Um, so I have got a few diamond paintings that I've got to order. Um, I've got some from Uniquely Yours that I've got to talk to Jenny about. I've got two customs that I want to order through there, plus some, gen I was going to say Genosephine, Josephine Wall. Um, Josephine wall paintings. Um, I've got to talk to Jenny about that. And someone can someone tell me your Diamond Art Club points? Do they expire? I think I've asked this before, but and it may have been answered before. But does anyone definitively know? Do they expire? Because I've got a shit ton of points there. It's just nothing's bounced out at me yet. Seriously, like. Some of the paintings that I'm unboxing, are, I literally open the delivery boxes for them. These are from last October, November. Yeah. I have no idea. So so I might have another day of woohoo. What's that? Another day. What's what's a woohoo? Rose is having a woohoo. I don't know what that means. Hey, Gabster, are you still there? If I send you the link, did you want to show people with your camera what your setup is like? There's a thought. I could stream yard you. Let me know. Let me know. Oh, yeah, well, that's going to be one of them, Chris. They expire? Holy shit balls. No, they do not. Dawn, tell me no. Hey, Laurie. They do expire. You have to the end of the year to you earn them. Get out of here. No way. Oh, my God. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, I'm having palpitations. Holy shit balls. No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Because, no, I will cry. I will cry. I will definitely cry. I mean, I'll cry... In one sense, like there were a few kind of that I would have had, but I thought, no, I'll just wait for something better to do. Not better to do. Better to get um, account, my rewards. They better not expire. I will cry. Well, no, it still says I have. 46,945 points. So what's that, $469 to spare, share, spare, spend. Grace, if you maintain your diamond status, then you're okay. Yeah, well, a question. If you purchase with your points, does that add or is that double dipping? Or do you actually have to spend money? Question. That's, there's, a, there's a good question, yeah? Like if I spend my points, does that add towards going towards points or is that double dipping? Question, question, question. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time. Points or discount code? Yeah, no, no, I'm not talking about that. I know that you can only use one or the other. Did I see something come up that they've got some sort of Memorial Day thing happening this weekend? Promotion? Yes, 20% off site-wide. Yay. I still didn't like, I didn't like, I did not like this one. I just, oh, and it's sold out. Go figure. Go figure that that's sold out. I understand the sentiment behind it, but I just thought the rendering of it was 
awful. This one. Did you see that one? Like, I understood it. I understood and I really appreciated what they were trying to, um, you know, I, I appreciated the artist's message. But when I saw the rendering of it, like, I don't know. Can you see that? Just, no, kind of didn't do it for me. I really, 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 really wish. Actually, I might get that one. Is that still available? Because mm. I have a feeling that I've got the matching one for that to be unboxed. Um, if you don't come see me soon, my new place is on the Atlantic Ocean. The views are everything. Ah. Oh! Direct from their website, Grace, do, do points expire? Yes, points are three expire after 365 if they are not used. Holy shit balls. All right, I better get on there. Their mystery paintings. They're, the mystery ones are the ones that are all black and white, true? They're like, as in the canvas, there's no, there's no picture on the canvas itself. As in colour, there's no colour on the canvas. I don't know if I want to do a mystery one. I, I think it would be fun to see it come alive. I think that aspect would be fun. Be something different to do, that's for sure. Um, yeah, but Cheryl, um, you can't use the 20. Is the 20% 20 automatically applied or do you got to apply it as a code? And then would I be able to then use my... Um, Would I then be able to use my points is the question. This fireworks finale looks pretty good. I don't mind that one. It kind of looks a bit janky. The horses look a bit weird. But I have a feeling that I've got one in my stash that would match that. Points count as a coupon. Yes, but they're really fun. I just started one today. Ooh. So do they, a stupid question. I kind of have stayed away from videos that uh, do the unboxings for mystery paintings and stuff like that. But do I understand that they give you the artist but not the name of the painting? Is that the way that it goes? And you, you're you not supposed to know what the painting is until you get it? Like, when you open it up, do you know, can you see what it is? Or is it supposed to be like it will reveal itself as you diamond paint it? Um, you can always do gift cards, I think, with the points and use them as giveaways or use the points or accessories. Always another option. I wonder, can you send a gift card to yourself? Yeah, and then does the gift card have an expiry? There's a thought. Just started one today. Mm. Yeah, I've got, who was I talking to? Who was I talking I think I was talking to Eva last night, Tinker. Tinker Diamonds, Tinker Tink Tink. Um, that of all the paint, like uh, you all, all know, landscapes and portraits are my two go-to genres of paintings to do but my all-time favorite are um, customs there is nothing so rewarding than to do a custom in my opinion in my opinion and i've done a few of them i've done one of the offspring i forgot to count that one when i was counting them out to you ever last night I've got the offspring there so i've got the offspring my brother i've got the one of my mum and dad i've got the one of the my two brothers and then i've got one of my nephews so i've done five and I'm about to order two more. Um, I've seen paintings where you can see shapes and images just by the design. Uh, Butter, hello. Is Randy here? Is Randy in the house? Is that Butter? Is that who we're, is Randy? Randy, are you there? Show yourself. Oh, she is here. She's been lurking. There she is. I'm sorry I missed you. Um, CC Angel says, I didn't open mine up all the way. I opened it enough to put down release paper so I could see the picture. I only unrolled what I was going to work on. Work, yeah, work on. Uh, 
Hello, Kina. Hello, my love. It's so nice to have you here. Love you. Love you, Kina. Hugs to Noel. Um, I'm sorry I didn't answer the call. I know, rotten sod. We tried calling you and calling you and calling you to have a three-way. You just wasn't interested. No. Hey, Janet. It's nice to have you here, Randy. I've done two mysteries and they were fun trying to guess what the picture was. You're very welcome, Keena. You're very, very welcome. Um, but what happens if you don't like the end picture? That's my thing. <laughs> because, yeah. <coughs> what happens if you don't like them? That's my, that's my, I mean, like, and you don't even know what colours you're going to be working with either, right? So that's the thing. Um, I was asleep and had the sound off. Whatever, Chris, whatever. You know what? Whatever. Sleep. You were sleeping. Sure. Um, glad you made it home. And, yeah, that was some day. It was, Janet. It was. Um, yeah, I don't know about who else has done a mystery painting. Obviously, um, it's it's good for some people. Randy, did I see that you had, un I think I saw it and then I didn't watch it deliberately because I thought, oh, I'll just put a pin in Randy's video just in case I ever one day want to get it. Um, Randy, I think, is unboxed one. That's my issue as well. The DSC ones are a bit pricey for me to purchase without knowing if I'm going to like the image. Exactly, Sarah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, I'm very, very picky with my paintings they have to have to have to have something in them there's not been many although one of the last um one of the last what do you call them unboxings that i did from dreamer designs i don't know what planet i was on when i ordered some of those paintings i've unboxed three separate mystery paintings on you what two of them were and the third i want to resell don't like it i think that's the one that i was watching where you said you didn't like it. So there you go. Someone drop Randy's channel, please. Um, well, Randy, I, I can't, I'm, I'm on stream yet. I can't even remember if I've modded you or not. Um, go check out, if you haven't, um, Randy's unboxings of the mystery paintings. If you want to, in a picture, I might as well know that I can send you what bits if you like. No, see, that's the thing. I don't want to know what it is. And, that, and that's where I'm conflicted because I want to know what it is. I'm scared to buy it in case I don't know. I won't like it. Um, all the things. And you know what? I'm not short of a painting to do. <laughs> I'm not short of a painting to have to do. Uh, I may or may not be. Um, hello, Tessa. Um, I may or may not be doing a de-stash soon. Um, so for any Aussie folks, there might be a butt-ton of DACs in there to to and uh, so there'll be DACs, create love share, um, and dream of designs. If you're in Australia, um, I might be destashing some of them. Obviously, it'll be open to international, but um, international shipping it would not. I mean, you can buy them if you want. I'm just saying the shipping will be outrageous outrageous and it might not be worth it you'd be probably better off buying from a d stash person within your own country um dq's doing a mystery painting when you look at the site the pink you can see the outline and have an idea aha uh -huh. okay ah uh, thanks stacy ivy dollar more i want to say it like that ivy dollar more I've got to put the Italian spin in it. Whereas, like, some people might say, Ivy Dolomore. Dolomore. Um, what are you selling, Gracie? I don't know. It might be coming up. I might be doing a de-stash of some of the paintings because, honestly, they're just sitting there. Um, and if some of them are, I don't know what's been discontinued, what's not available, whatever. Um, and if some people are interested in Australia, they only have to be paying Aussie prices. So it'll be DAC, 
um, some dream. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. I haven't looked at which ones yet, but dreamer designs, create, love, share. Um, what did I say? Dreamer designs, create, love, share, and DAC. Uh, shipping wouldn't be too much to be arriving in New Zealand. I, Sarah, I do not know. I do not know. I haven't spoken to her lately. Is everything okay with Bev, Mary Lou? Is, do we, Bev is around. She's okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Scare me like. Scare me a bit. Scare me muchly. Scare me muchly. I have something to show you, Jenny. Jenny with an I. Are you still watching? Are you still lurking? Jenny. Jenny. Jenny with an I. Reveal yourself. Are you still listening? I was a troublemaker on the video. Ah. Yeah. Yes, we had a video call. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she's all right, sad, but okay. What? Yes, she says Sarah's here. I mean, Sarah's here. Jenny's here and sad. Is is something going on with Bev Bev? That's, that's, I don't want to ask publicly if it's not public knowledge, but... I've been out of the loop. Joanna, thank you for this just cause. Joanna, bless your heart. Thank you so much. Thanks for the super chat, Joanna. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on with Bev? All right, now forget what I was about to show. Someone inbox me. What? Oh, shit. Bev, if you're listening and you don't have to type, if you listen to the replay, if you're listening just because you're listening, ah, oh, my love. Mm. Um, this is the first that I've heard. I've been out of the loop. I'm so, so sorry that I have not even been in the loop to have known. I'm so, so sorry. I should have. Mwah. Oh, I, well, I, I, I didn't watch her live on Tuesday and I haven't because I'm at work. I feel like a real shit friend now. Fuck. Oh. Well. Ah. Oh. Yes, I did see and Ruby. So, I mean, it looks like, you know, we've got a few hearts to send out for so many people in the community at the moment. As I said, um, very special subscriber who lost her dad. Um, we've got Bev who needs hearts. We've got Ruby Q who needs hearts. <sighs> yeah, I, I bet she would be, Cheryl, of course. A loss is a loss. Um, yeah, I know, but I feel really bad. And this isn't about me. I don't make shit about me at all. I just, now I feel like I just want to, I don't want to encroach on her, pro, you know, space and give her her space. But anyway, I'll reach out to Bev. Because, like, between Tuesday and today's Sunday for me, like, today's already Sunday for me. That's a lot of days. And I, bloody hell. If I haven't told you lately, I love you, says Jenny. Yeah, hearts for everyone. Thanks, Jeanette. I know that when I was going through a bad time, oh, um, if I happened to be lurking on someone's channel and something was said for me and people knew about it and their hearts got sent out, I know that it was appreciated. I, I kind of felt it. Being here in... Melbourne, I kind of feel so isolated from everyone, um, so far away. And so when the hearts come from all across the states of Australia to then all across the oceans of the world, it is so powerful. It is so powerful because, I don't know, I can't explain it. I cannot explain that feeling. 
um, of just how powerful that is. So hearts for everyone. All right, Miss Jenny, let's do this. Forgetting that these have got things that have been baked into them, what does this look like to you? Jenny, what does that look like? Jenny with an I, answer. What does that look like to you? Are you looking with your eyeballs, Jenny? Don't worry about that it's got little bits because that's got stuff that, like, these are specific, right? See that? But what does that look like to you? Randy says biscuit. Jeanette says biscuit. It's not a biscuit, Janet. This is a scone, my love. Now, this is what I've been trying to demonstrate to you. This is not homemade. It's been purchased. Look, I'll crack it open. I should have used a knife. See the texture? Oh, I can't see shit now because of reflection. Can you see that texture? Right? These are these are actually called scones. Pixie, don't confuse the argument. Oh my gosh. Pixie's coming in with a tea bun. Oh my gosh. We've got scone, 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 scone. Biscuits are light and fluffy, Jenny. Yes, scone with raisins. That's what biscuits look like. Okay. These this is what we call in Australia a scone. It's not a biscuit. And this specific one is a store-bought one, which I have fallen in love with. It's actually a pumpkin scone. Okay? So that's why you've got little bits of, I think that might be either grated pumpkin and then it's got pumpkin seeds. That's what my mother calls a bacon powder, called bacon powder buns. Oh, my gosh. Scones are good. Carl makes gluten-free strawberry scones for me and they are amazeballs. See, this in UK too, it's a very UK thing, said, uh, said Janet. Janet, it's a very UK thing. Scones and tea is very, very UK. Fruit scones. So this is a pumpkin one. I'm loving it madly. Um, mm, cream, and it's not, oh, shit. <laughs> Don't you dare super chat me in a loud voice like that. Missy? <laughs> it's a scone! <laughs> it's a scone, I'm telling you. The way you've always described your biscuit, I've always told you it reminds me of a scone. See? And I bet you your biscuits that you do, your biscuits and grape, they look probably about, they're probably about that big and they look that sort of texture. Triangular in shape. Now, Chris, that's all sorts of wrong. I don't know what you got happening over there. Indiana Pro, hello, first of all. Hello and welcome. And who says biscuits, Grace, biscuits? They're not biscuits. Most of our scones are triangle shaped, though. I think that's what's throwing Jenny off. Who makes triangle scones? Oh, my gosh, you people. You're driving me mad, 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 mad. You can't make a triangular scone. That's not a thing. Guys, I'm 100% pure American. It's a scone. There's a big difference. Basically, I'm on your side. There's different recipes to making a scone. Jeanette, oh, my you're not paying me to say any different. It's not a biscuit. <laughs> I'm loving the capital letters. Look at you all coming at me. I am standing my ground. I will not be swayed. I will not sway. I'm standing my Aussie turf. Damn it. No, no, you will not. No, it is a scone. It is a scone. That's Dale Grace. In the oh, <laughs> Dale, Dale, don't make me come over there. No, <laughs> I'll, I'll argue with you too, mister. You know I will. There are triangle cookies with a filling for a Jewish holiday. 
There are, I can't remember what they are. Sorry, was delayed in the video. Bev, Rubes, Kina, and everyone else who needs. The scone sold where I live, and they are triangle shape. Oh my gosh, it looks like a biscuit, Grace. When is Jenny going to cook? Christopher, it's baking here. It is a baking powder bun. Can I have a recipe? Okay, so Jenny. Dale, where's that Grace Biscuits? <laughs> I can't believe Dale's watching me. Dale, love you to parts and pieces. Bless your cotton little socks, baby. Um, I'm 75 and that's what my homemade drop biscuits look like. A scone. <laughs> it's 100% scone on British. There you go. A uh, ham and tush. That's right. Ham and tush are for, not Passover, for Purim. Is it Purim? I'm pretty sure. Um, Grace, don't let them bully your scone. I'll make them and taste their shoes different. <laughs> scones are triangular shape but doesn't resemble a biscuit. Scones are never triangular. You people, you people, you people. All right. Jenny, are you up for the challenge next week? Shall we do it next week? It is Purim. I thought so. I thought I learnt a lot with my ex-husband. I learnt a lot. The hamantash, the triangles are there to resemble, I think, the ears from memory. Um, Jenny with an I, step up to the plate. Are we going to do our bake-off next week? Tell me. Yes? Right, done. Be here everywhere. What is Purim? Purim is a Jewish... Um, festival it, uh, or is it a, would you call it a festival? It's a Jewish holy day or period of time. And in Judaism, there's a lot of food that's foods that are cooked that are symbolic of the celebrations or the days of, um, what do you call it? Observed meat that, 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 that are cooked. Make scones. from Yeah, I'm going to cook from scratch. The hat of, isn't triangular. Oh, okay. Um, all right, so a Jewish observance. Thank you. You've heard it here. Yes, we're going to do it. So do you want me to make our, my equivalent? All right, so I'm going to make what these are, okay? And they're scones. Yeah, they, they better not come from a can. I want eyeballs on you all the time, all the time. Don't you be cutting off the camera. Don't you be blanking off the camera. None of this whole, oh, look what I prepared earlier business. No, 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 no. Eyeballs on your bench the whole time. You miss your mum's challah bread. I've never made challah. Never made it. That's one thing that I've never, never made, which is um, it's a Jewish sweet bread. I'm, I'm going to eat while I'm here. Might as well, right? Hmm? Um. No, I've never actually made bread. Mm. Sorry, Randy, I'm eating and I'm about to swallow. So, um, Jenny, are you wearing your underpants on your head? I was waiting for someone to call her out. <laughs> Monica, they're scones. Where have you been, Monica? Now she pipes up. No, 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 no. Monica, they're scones. She's going to have the granny panties on her head. Yes, Jenny. Be sure to come and watch the Bake Off next week. I don't know how we're going to manage this, but she'll be cooking on her side. I'll be cooking on my side. Between us, we'll be keeping an eye on chat, and we're just going to do all the things. How's that? Grace, I just messaged you on IG with the appropriate picture of scones. I'm scared to ask. Scared to look. Mm. Messages are going everywhere. Randy. Oh, the hell they're not. No way. What did she message? How to make perfect. 
Woman, how is that? Even remotely close to this. Not a chance. Hi, Grace. I woke up. I was sleeping and woke up to seeing your biscuits. No, you you miss you miss, you auto corrected. Monica, go back and order you, your your computer is set to auto correct. Hi, Grace. I was sleeping and I woke up to seeing your scones. Scones. That is not a scone. Need a cup of tea to go to. I've got a really nice tea set too, actually. All you have to do is Google that shit. Right. Let's go. Let's go. You want to, you want to, you want to battle. You want to battle. Let's go. Scones. Search images. Holy shit balls. I didn't even change the page. Look at that. Look, I did not even change the page. I didn't scroll. I didn't do anything. Scones, scones, scones. Gracie one, you lot zero. Duck eggs, zero, nothing. No, no, Christopher. Look, I just Googled. Honestly, honest to God. Look, look, focus your damn thing. Focus, focus. Not focusing. There you go. Scones, look at that. Cream and jam. That's how we have scones, my loves. My Google is not wrong. My Google is not wrong. How can it be wrong? Why? Look, look, I'll scroll. Look, I scrolled down and there's that manky picture that Randy just showed me, but I'm just going to scroll past that. Out of all the pictures, look, there's that one janky thing there, right? But, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Round. Oh, there's another. Well, that's an, just another whatever. But round, 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 round. Stop it. You're not going to convince me. That's because it's an Australian Google. Here we go. My Google's not broken. Damn it. No. My Google cannot be. Look, I am not disputing that you can make them triangular in shape. However, whether you make them freaking triangular, circular, square, you can make them penis shaped for all I care. It's a scone. Mm, not a biscuit. And I just spat. Yeah, some free DNA. You're all hitting me up with your Google stuff here with butter. Yeah, you got to have, like, I heat these up. And put a bit of butter. Not you, Randy. I don't slap you on my scones. Trust me, honey. No. <laughs> uh, butter, as in, you know, edible butter. You heat them, like, heat them up. Give them about 10 seconds in the Mickey microwave. Yeah. 10, 15 seconds because you don't want to harden them up. You just want to put some heat through them. And then you butter. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum. It's the same in New Zealand. I'll take the penis scone, says baby cakes. Well, you never know. I might actually make one next week. How's that? We'll we'll we'll, we'll play around with the with the dough mixture next week and we'll see what lovely shapes we can come up with. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, and we'll see if we can add that to someone's Google search when they when they Google. Oh, look, they, I, I I will admit to you. It says American scones recipe. What's in your, like? Let's have a look at what's in your recipe. All-purpose flour, sugar, baking powder, kosher salt, and heavy cream. What do you think? What? I'd like, all right, we, 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 we'll come back next week. Come back next week. Cheese, plain, fruit scone. We drizzle some frosting on our strawberry scone, scones. Um, hang on, hang on. Oh, I've missed. I'll second that, Mons. Christopher wants a penis one as well. Abigail, Mary's going to get Abigail's wax. <laughs> no, because they're teeny tiny. We're going to make it nice and big, you know, substantial Mary Lou, substantial Substantial penis scones. How's that? Only on this channel, only here, will you see it happen. And I've got my wife to join me. What shape are you going to make yours, Jenny? I'll, I'll make the penis ones. You make the vagina ones. 
<laughs> we could really ramp it up then. <laughs> we really could ramble it up. Ramble it? Ramp it up. All right, so I've got to get myself the ingredients. I've got to get it all happening. She's going to get her granny, granny panties happening. Spread the word. you got to come back next week. It's going to be on for young and old. We're going to have the Rocky music going. Dun, 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 you know, yeah, it's going to be hap- It's going to be on. I'm all, I'm too old for biggies. What are biggies? Biggies. What have I What have I missed, Mary Lou? I think I feel like I'm getting set up for something here. I feel like I'm getting set up. What are biggies? Go away with your pictures. Right. Um. Thinking of a penis shape scone with drizzle on it. Well, the fact that we serve our scones here with thickened cream <laughs> and jam, <laughs> I'll let the imagination run wild with what that may actually come out looking like. <laughs> um. Sorry, I'm just checking everyone's bombarding. Thanks for that, Stacey. Um, well, you've got it wrong too, Chris. You've all got it wrong. I, I wonder, is Google by, uh, thanks for coming, Irene. Um, sweet dreams. I wonder, is Google Geo, what do you call it, Geo, linked Geo, like does it does it pick up things that are in your own country or area first is what I want to say. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Does, does that kind of make sense? Hmm? You missed my Google comment. Here we go. You have the generic Google Grace, Austria. You know, <laughs> no, it's not a generic. We have Google just like the rest of you lot. Don't be picking on our Google. Not cool. Just because you don't know what a scon is. Google is location based. Hmm. If anyone's interested, these are from in Australia. These are from Woolies. A pack of what were they? Two, four, six of them. I mean, not when when you know how to make a scone and how cheap it can be. It wasn't really that cheap, but I think it was four dollars fifty for six. That's all right. Um. It's, um, yeah, don't you hear him. So I want to know, show me your granny panties. Send me a picture of your granny panties. Grace, can you see my message on here or did you send me a message somewhere else? Hmm? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Where did you send me a message, Rose? On here. No, so I must have missed it. Maybe if you write it again, stop picking on us. I'm picking on you or you're picking on me? Which way is it going, Helen? Am I picking on you too much? Or are they picking on you too much? Or who's picking on who? No one be picking on anyone. I'm going to smash out these scones, though. Scones. Scones. My channel. My words. Scone. It's a scone, 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 scone. You can't do anything about it because you can't talk. <laughs> uh, hmm? mm. Let's have a look. <laughs> I 
<laughs> um, hang on. So I've got the granny panties. Good -o. I can't show them because it'll um Yeah, she's got them sorted. Okay. Google says scones have eggs, biscuits don't. Ah. Oh. The scones that I make don't have eggs. Google says scones have eggs, biscuits don't. Most people who don't know what a scone is. Oh, okay. Classic scones with jams and clotted cream. Oh, I see. The very word, Janet, clotted cream, just makes my ch stomach churn a little bit. Like, it makes me feel like it's gone off. Thickened cream is the way that I like to refer to it. Yeah, but, you, yeah, that's how you, you, you have thickened cream and jam, and it's like the best. And these are pumpkin, but you can make them with, you can make them just completely plain or you can put um, fruit in them like sultanas or raisins and make them fruit scones. You can do almost anything. What else? Um, anything. But savoury or sweet is which way, is, is both ways that you can do them. And they're so yummy, so yummy. What is clotted cream? I'm going to assume it's like a thickened cream, Mary Lou. I'm assuming. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Described what? Well. I'm really hungry now. I've got to work out. I'm going to go clean my kitchen bench. Get set up for this unboxing. And get that underway. Um, as we sort of close out, because we are going to have to close out. Oh, shit. I think I'm already over time. I'm looking at one time, but I'm seeing the other time down there. Just in case, in case Beth has gone live. Um, shit, I'm already over time. Now, I have to go, but I will keep you up to speed with my armpit of a wavy blanket, <laughs> the Gracie Wave blanket. I'll keep you up to date with that. I'm going to keep you up to date with how I'm going with my diamond painting. I'm going to do a couple of unboxings hopefully today for you. Thank you for taking some time to spend with me today. As before, the love and the hugs and thoughts for all those that need it today. And moving forward in the next couple of weeks as they deal with the emotions that need to come uh, that, that are coming um look after yourselves thank you everyone for the super chats even for the screaming ones <laughs> most appreciated so so appreciated never expected but thank you so much um look after yourselves look after each other have each other's backs because it's so so super important until i see you next week for the big bake-off challenge us versus oz between me and jenny with an eye don't miss it come back next week until i see you all then i'm going to send you all much much love okay much love and ciao ciao for now guys thanks guys <laughs>